What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to design a Baraja logo designing for a technology company in Adobe Illustrator CC. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. So before further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to select an ellipse tool from the toolbars panel and I'm going to click and drag while clicking shift and alt key to make the circle to be proportional to each other. And what I'm going to do is simply select it and click the shifting arrows from there to shift out from there and increase the point size a little bit. Now I uh, click and drag and hold the shift and alt key to copy that and click the control D on a PC to make a copy as we had done before. So I'm going to select everything and reduce it a bit. That's why we can easily be understand is this a right or that. I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. Now it's in a smaller size so that you can see what I'm doing. Select the second circle from there and go to the transform panel and I'm going to give this height. I'm going to be reduce the height for minus 20. It will reduce it a bit. So I'm copy that and, and I'm going to select the alternative circles from there and click the transform panel back and click on there and copy back. That's it. You have to make sure this is checked, otherwise the proportions are distorted. That's it. Now we have the three circles are in a good proportions and two circles are in a lesser sizes. Now what I'm going to do is simply select the ellipse tool from the toolbox panel and draw a simple ellipse from it. Now I'm going to match with the two circles of that these two big circles to be matched with in it's the middle of the two circles from the length. That's it. Now you have to make sure to adjust it a bit. Now I am using this direct selection tool and check the point and hit the delete button to delete it. Now I am going to match it together. I am going to increase the stroke size a bit. Now we don't want this, we have to make sure to do in a later scenario. I am select, I'm select all the circles and give the white color for it and hit the shift and close brace to put it front or you can even using the align tool. Now I make a copy for that for my convenience so that anything else gets wrong so we can use it that. Now I'm going to select the width tool or you can even click the shift W for that and go to the point just simply click and drag to increase the width of the another side and in this case I'm going to reduce it a bit that's why we can get some contrast between the start and ending point. Now I'm select everything and what I'm going to do is always make a copy that's why we don't have to mess up with anything else gets us wrong in the future and what I'm going to do is simply select these two things and delete it off and take these things now I put it on the center of the old board and I'm going to reflect it back this is not a good thing to do it so what I'm going to do is simply using the appearance panel that's why we can use the expand appearance from it and group everything it that's why we don't have to worry for that and choose this reflect tool and you have to make sure to put the point on the bottom of the circle bottom center of the circle and click and drag while holding dragging you have to click shift and alt key to make the proportions and uh, make a copy out of it now it's like that now I'm using the selection tool. I think it would be better to better to rearrange the letter B. So the bigger part is to the downside. So what I'm going to do is simply select 
I'm going to do something before what I'm doing. Simply give some color and get some inspirations before we maybe make a change in it. I think, ah, oh yeah, yes, it is. It's it's a good thing for us, and we can even make some more contrast rather than this clumsy shape. So I'm gonna be used. Uh, hmm, it's not. Uh, that's it. You have to make sure to use the reflect tool, reflect it back on the horizontal axis. That's why we can get some beautiful contrast out of it. For your convenience, I am increasing the speed of the video. Uh, these are just uh, giving some combinations of the color out of it to make some revisions out of it. Uh, these are the combinations that we are doing now. You have to make sure to make some combinations to which one is works and which one is not. Now, I prefer this one. So, I take this circle and make it be uh, some sharp edged down point. So, I am using the direct selection tool and click and drag. And also using the convert anchor point tool, click and it will automatically convert it to an anchor point. So, we have to make sure to make a copy. That's why we don't have to mess up with that. Simply use the selection tool. Now I'm using the selection tool because it has already copied. So I'm using the direct selection tool and move it a bit because it has already been grouped. So, okay. I think it would be uh, better or not. We have to make sure to all these test with every possible ways that we have. Simply click and uh, reduce it a bit. It would be better to see like this than the bigger and lengthier sharper edges. I think, yeah, yes, it could be a good thing for us. Now, I'm going to use the oddball menu and draw simply using the shift and draw. That's it. You can get another oddboard out of it. I'm selecting this and I put it on there. Put it on the center as much as possible. I have already write the typefaces of the company name Baraja. Baraja is the company. It's a technology company, which means it's not a. It's not only a technology company. It's about a paint making technology company. It's a a laser painting company. Laser painting for cars, whatever it may be. Uh, these are just an arrangements to make sure which one is works, which one is not. And just make some arrangements for your convenience to make it be fast. And I'm going to change some font faces to test it with it. You have to make sure all this tested. That's all for my things. You have to go to there and open the Spatch library and go to the scientific option. And I'm gonna be choose the. There are a few things there: analogous, complementary, split, complementary. Now in this case, I'm gonna click the split complementary. It would be a, it would be a better choice for splitting the complementary colors. Uh, you have to make sure to test it. That's why I didn't cut this scene off from this video tutorial. This thing is not good as we think. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going I'm gonna go into uh, corporate color from the Spatch library. Uh, it'll be uh, formal and it's uh, trendy, it's modern and it's uh, beautiful and bold colors. So I'm going to use some of the colors from that. So in this case, I'm going to select some of the colors out of it. Uh, these blue colors are the good things for the technology company. And also it would be uh, laser painting, which means that using the technology to paint the cars by using the laser. That's why I'm using this blue and a black for some bold and uh, technological advancements color schemes. Now I have given some color variations to this design. That's it for this tutorial. This is the design that we have. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. Adios.